Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I have a double reveal in store for you and all I've got to say is move over Pochette Matisse, move over Keep All 25 and Speedy 20, you've got some competition. So I'm going to show you what I've got right away and then we're going to get into the details and do a little bit of comparing with Louis Vuitton and the pieces that I have that are new. Today's video is made possible by Melody with Dress Up Your Purse. She's a French designer and she has come up with some amazing designs and fabulous quality leathers. I was generously gifted these bags, but I love them so much, I may just have to get more of them. The first piece I'm gonna show you is the new Paris 15, and here she is. I am using this as my bag of the day. I am wearing my denim dress from Style We, and I went to church, and I was gonna carry my brand new Keep All 25, but with the stitching on this dress being kind of this coppery color, I just had to get this bag out and wear it. I went ahead and pulled out my Pochette Matisse so that we can look at these two in comparison right away. You may have noticed that I have my monogram strap, which is actually a Pochette Matisse strap on the Paris 15, and I plan to wear it like that all the time. This bag did come with its own straps. It came with two straps, came in a beautiful box, came with a dust bag, all that jazz. We're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna get into the bag. I say that and I am gonna show you the straps. So the first strap is a strap made out of the trim leather of the Paris 15. It's like the old Louis Vuitton Damier Aben leather. It's got a real shiny coating on it, just like what is on the trim of the bag itself. And I love the trim on there because it allows me to pair it with this strap. And I think it just is a fabulous combination. The other strap that comes with the Paris 15 is a web strap with the same leather trim on it. And it is really cute. It matches the bag like perfectly. But again, for me, this is the strap for this bag and it's going to live on this bag. I mean, I have other bags that I use this strap with, but this is by far my favorite combination I have ever had with this particular bag. Besides maybe my Speedy 20 and Monogram, it looks really good with the strap too, of course, but this is a chef's kiss perfect. So as far as the bag goes, I carried it today. I have it pretty full. I did plop my phone in the back pocket and I felt like it sort of left a, impression on the leather and so I don't think I would put my phone in the back pocket on a permanent basis. There is plenty of room inside for my phone. I've got all my regular items. I haven't had to downsize at all and you can see there's a big spot in the middle just for a phone. So in the front I've got these two items which is my Gucci Garden card holder and the pouch I keep medicine in. In the back, I've got some loose cash and my two Louis Vuitton clays. I was gonna grab my Felici insert to stick in the back there for the cash. Let me grab it. So with bags like the Pochette Matisse, I love these long flat holders because they really help with organization. So now I have my cash in there and I could even eliminate that Gucci Garden card holder because of the fact that this has the card slots in the front, but let's not get into that quite yet. I have two AirPods cases, the pouch I normally carry, and a glasses cleaning cloth, a tampon and a tie to go stick, my key fob and a hair tie. And I think now I have it empty except for my comb. So it's completely empty now. It has a wonderful feeling microfiber interior and we have one two, three compartments. So this bag has oodles of room to put all of my daily essentials. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a photo of me wearing this bag crossbody because I did take a quick snapshot before I went to church, but I wanna talk about the leather on this bag and it is a Togo leather. It is extremely soft. I love the feeling of the pebbles of the leather the trim itself, it is very slick to the touch. I kind of think it's gonna be 
durable on the edges to have that particular trim. Hopefully it will prevent corner wear. And if you did get some corner wear with it being a dark chocolate brown like this, you likely could touch it up. The top handle itself is done just like the pochette Matisse. Let me grab my pochette Matisse. So here they are side by side. I feel like the pochette Matisse is just a little bit bulkier. Now the bag that I'm holding from Dress Up Your Purse is called the Paris 15. And the pochette Matisse is completely empty. The Paris 15 is loaded with my stuff. And I don't know, I just feel like the pochette Matisse is just slightly, ever so slightly bulkier. And when I carried this bag, to me, it felt a little better than the pochette Matisse in terms of how like, I don't know, like this just feels like a block on me sometimes. And this did not feel like that at all. It felt amazing. Here is a view of the top handles. It looks to me like the pochette Matisse might be just the tiniest bit longer, but the top handles, as you can see, are extremely similar. Here's a view of the base. And again, this has stuff in it and this doesn't. So I do think that this would be wider, like deeper, I mean, if it did have items inside. And then there is one more side view. I am actually pushing in on the pochette Matisse right now. So if I weren't doing that with my thumb, it would fan out just a little more. Let's look at the front closure. So they both have a push open closure. And when I do the pochette Matisse and it's empty, it's a little tricky. I do have protectors on my hardware from Cactus Run Creatives. They are always linked down below. I do have an insert in here from Zumani, and I may have gotten one for this pocket too, but I just don't have it inside. The layout inside the bag is exactly the same. It's got a pocket there, a pocket there, and a pocket there with no zippered pocket on the interior. You can see though that the Paris 15 has micro suede on the inside of the flap and the pochette Matisse has leather. So that's the only advantage I'm really seeing to the inside is that, you know, this is more wipeable than the micro suede. When it comes to the lock itself, I want you to look at how the pochette Matisse closes there. So you kind of have to find it and then push it in. I like the design of the Paris 15 a little better and I'm gonna show you. They both have the zippered pocket on the back. I do find that I can put my phone in this without the indentions, so I guess that's a win for the pochette Matisse. And as you can see, it also has this tab on it, which is nice for opening and closing. We're getting to the lock, I promise. So here is the opening and closing of the Paris 15. It doesn't have that tab, but it's buttery smooth to open and close this bag. So here's the lock. I think this lock is better designed than the Louis Vuitton one, believe it or not. I mean, it just is so easy to open and close. You see how it pops out just like super easily. And I don't even have to look to find the hole. I think it's because the hole itself is longer. It's not a round hole. And then also you see how the texture of the metal is right there. It makes it so where that doesn't get all scratched up like the pochette Matisse can. So I think over time, this is gonna stay looking nicer than a pochette Matisse clasp without any hardware protector on it. So I am love, love, loving this. I may end up putting the Louis Vuitton charm on this just for fun or a chain or something like that, but I love this bag. And I really wasn't sure because I don't love the pochette Matisse, but I actually like this one better. This version of the pochette Matisse is the only one I have kept. I've had the reverse, I've had the turtle dove. And for some reason with the flowers on this being larger and then also being able to pair it with my Alma BB strap, which is narrower on the sides, I feel like this has a more feminine line now. But with the Paris 15, I think it's just slightly slimmer and it feels slightly smaller, but yet it holds all the same stuff. This just feels like it is more me somehow, and I don't even know how to describe it. I think this bag is priced at $250 or $249, and I've got 15% off with a code HBHW15. They're always sold out. They have pre-orders open. I think this one may be available, and the gray may be pre-order right now, but yes, I would recommend this, and I have a lot of high-end bags, but I'm using this today. I'm going to keep using it today, and I really like it. 
The second bag I want to show you, I really like it too. If you know me, you know I love the Speedy 20 bags. I love the Keep All 25 bags. And this bag right here is right in the middle between those two. So this is the mini Boston bag from Dress Up Your Purse. And yes, I've already decked her out. She has on a Louis Vuitton luggage tag from Chicago that I got when I was visiting there, as well as my Keep All 25 strap. Now, of course, she comes with two straps. One of them is a black Vaquetta strap, which I actually think I may end up using with my Keep All 25 that's black. And the other strap she comes with is a web strap in black. So here is the Vaquetta strap. It is really comfortable. I've tried it on. I love that it has silver hardware and it has these Louis Vuitton-esque silver clasps. And here is the web strap. Again, it is very comfortable. It is just like the Paris 15 web strap. The clips are these teardrop shaped clips instead of the more U-shaped ones that Louis Vuitton has. And I actually really like that style of clips. And Louis Vuitton does use some of these more teardrop shaped clips on their higher end bags. And also other brands use them too. I think Prada tends to go with these more teardrop shaped clasps. But when I wear this bag, I'm gonna wear it with my keep all strap. I really like the look of this keep all strap on this bag. And I wanna show you a comparison of size to this bag and my Speedy 20 and my brand new keep all. So if you know me, you know I love both the Speedy 20 and the Keep All 25. And if you look at the mini Boston bag by Dress Up Your Purse, it is just a little bit wider, I think, than the Speedy 20, but it has a rounded bottom. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny bit longer, I think. Just the littlest bit. And side to side, I mean, it might be microscopically taller. I think they're about the same height. It does have a bigger drop for your arm than both the Speedy 20 and the Keep All 25. So if you don't like the Keep All 25 because you can't get your arm all the way in, you can get it all the way in this bag. I don't know if this green had a specific color name, but I would say it's kind of an olive green with a little bit of softness to it. It doesn't have as much yellow as like a green olive does. I think it's really nice shade and I do love that it has black trim and I love even more that it has silver hardware because my black one like this has gold hardware and so I like having that difference. In addition to coming with the two straps, it also comes with this bag organizer and it's made out of a really nice microfiber and it keeps the bag's shape because without it, it's a really squishy bag which some people might absolutely love. I love it sometimes, but sometimes I like to have a little bit of structure. On the inside, there is a zippered pocket on this side. Here it is with the insert inside. You can fit everything you need with the insert in there, and I plan on keeping that insert in there. When you look at it next to the Keep All 25, the Keep All 25 is just a little bit longer. Let's look at it from the bottom. So really the mini Boston bag is much closer in length to the Speedy 20. And it is wider than the Keep All 25. So since it's shorter, but it's wider, it holds pretty much the same amount. And you may have noticed that I have a coach chain on my Keep All 25. This was a suggestion from one of you and I love it. I think it looks so cute. I have it attached to the side there and then right here to the handle opposite the luggage tag. And I think it's just like the perfect chunky chain to go with the chunky hardware from the Keep All 25. But I am telling you, I love this new bag and the Paris 15. I'm gonna try this on real quick for you. So here is my first mini Boston bag from Dress Up Your Purse. I have it decked out with a gold chain and with a luggage tag that I had stamped with Vivian when I was down in New Orleans. And I think this is the very first time I have gotten a duplicate from Dress Up Your Purse. And so if that doesn't say to you something about how much I love the mini Boston bag style, I don't know what will because I love duplicates and here we go. I'm on a tear. I've got two of this bag. Look how far, I mean, I have a chunky denim dress on. I could get this up my forearm. That is how generous the drop is on these bags. But yet the handles fold down so nice and so flat that it's even comfortable to have that back handle down. 
Although I generally put them up so that the bag doesn't get like impressions from the handle on the side. These bags have the same Togo leather trimmed with Viketa as the Paris 15. But of course, the Paris 15 that I have, the trim on it is a shinier finish. And so I love both of these new bags. I should grab the Paris 15 and try it on while I'm standing up. Hang on. Tell me that is not a chef's kiss perfect with this dress. I love it. I'm going to design my clothes for tonight and tomorrow to go with this bag because I don't want to move out. The leather is just scrumptious. So I hope you have enjoyed this strappy video and you like the new bags that I have to show you. Now these are both under 250. I want to say the mini Boston bag is 229 and this one is 249. And with my discount code of HBHW15, getting that 15% off makes the deal even sweeter. I would recommend either one of these. If the right color comes out in this, I may end up getting another one of these too. And I have never had two Pochette Matisses in my collection before because they just aren't my favorite style. But there is something about this one that I really like. So thank you so much, Melody, for sending me these beautiful bags. I love them both. And I really, really appreciate you. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.